Welcome back. This is Sam um, Scribe, and today I got a little special one for you. Uh, we're going to be reacting, at least in part, to a video I made over a year ago. And it was, I believe I titled Christian Sci-Fi. Now, I was looking through my YouTube statistics, and I realized um, a lot of you, or at least a good number of you, actually subscribed because of that video. And this is kind of a part two. Uh, I just recently watched my own video again, cringe, um, and kind of some little updates on it. So we're going to get into it again. We're not going to watch the whole thing, uh, but I will link it at the end or at least put in. You should see in the time card wherever that appears. Uh, you will need to watch it yourself. Okay. Yourself. Okay. So here we Go. Uh -huh. Oh, so um, I recorded this during a live stream, and I might go back to that format, but I would like do like an hour and then chop up the segments, and then I'll release that throughout the week. Uh, and this little thing that I haven't used that in forever uh, was what I put in between my transitions. And I think I even use a slightly different outro music. Uh, but eh, there's that. And I believe my logo, my name song is, uh, is spelled wrong, but oh well. Let's see. Yeah. That tour type of event, uh, but sci-fi fantasy uh -huh. that is my game, that is my genre. Mm -hmm. If I had to choose one, that is the most definitely it. It is such a creative, uh, kind of storytelling. Uh, that uh, I agree with everything, nothing's changed on that form. That I just fall in love with. I mean, you put sci-fi, and I yell over a lot more, a lot more stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am one of the few that I could rock with Star Wars, Star Trek. Yes, I can rock with both. I don't care what. Okay. <laughs> what you say, I you know. So I love the fantasy. I love the creativity of it. I hope to be able to write one one day. Uh, but that is where I rock. Hopefully, and coming, coming. I thought you started that, by the way. Um, I don't really come across uh, a Christian version of that and I guess this is part of a um, maybe a, a, a larger problem uh, Christian art musician, artistry doesn't always flow into every genre I'm not saying that it necessarily has to but I'm saying it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a space that we are not in and you know as long as it's not you know, sinful but I believe we have a Heart or an obligation, a light to shine light in those places. Uh, I basically I do agree with that. Um, over the year or so, uh, I've noticed us growing in more fields. But what I also kind of realize, if some of us kind of pay outside the lines, um, if some of us were uh, to do the thing that we want, it might not be categorized as Christian anymore. Uh, there are a number of different movies that um, were made by Christians, and I could consider them kind of Christian, but because they didn't come out on um, the, a particular platform, we don't recognize it as such. Like, we're living in an era of uh, streaming, not just stream music, but stream movies, Man, these stream services have gotten out of control. But one thing they have done is they decentralized a lot of the content. So before, when I was growing up, if you didn't get on, uh, you know, on TV, at not just on TV, but at a prime time slot, or you didn't make it into a theater, so if a movie went straight to video, you knew that was like an instant fail. Versus now, there are plenty of great TV shows and movies that don't touch the box office, 
but are still very successful. There are plenty that, uh, uh, where was I going with this? Uh, there are plenty that, well, that are not on any live air TV. I haven't watched live air TV uh, regularly in a number of years. I can't really remember when I stopped. Uh, but things are decentralized now. Uh, it's kind of reminds me about Christian music. Uh, I had a pen, and I believe uh, someone listened to uh, Bruce Lyon had a, a similar opinion. When someone says that Christian music is bad, and I talk to him about it, and I say, you know, sometimes it's like it's not uh, uh, God-centered enough, and I tell him, what about this? And some say it's not explicit enough. What about these? this group? And I'm giving them different sounds and genres, but what I kind of learned is, they will come back to us. They don't like that sound of music. It's giving them like the substance. Uh, and even when I press harder about like Christian music doesn't uh, challenge you. It doesn't go to these subjects. And I try to get like what well, this group does. And they say, yeah, but they're not on the radio. And that's like the clutch of it is it's not on the platform that recognizes um, or that not just recognizes but validates something as being authentic and we kind of consider that well if it's not being validated by i guess the gatekeepers that we all look to then it is invalid thing it's not christian it's not correct and i think that's a fail i think that comes in play when we think about different storytelling and just different vices we use um and i can go on a tangent on that uh but I think that's a shame. What I, but there's something that I learned after making this video. I might play just a little bit more of it, but then there's something I learned over the year through looking through the comments that come from this video that I didn't realize when I made it. One of the things that kind of bugs me about sci-fi most yeah. of the time. Uh, oh, and I'm, Star Trek is I'm, I'm here. I'm going to get into that a lot of sci-fi especially when it's like a future, uh, portrays uh, that we grow out of those things. You know, like Star Trek is one of my uh, favorite series, but it is often portrays that they left out, that they, we grew past, out past uh, greed, uh, selfishness, a lot of human ills we've outgrown. And sometimes there's this belief that uh, we outgrew uh, religion. And that one day we, you know, look look at it as just kind of if a moment of ignorance. And that never really says right to me. Uh, so, you know what? I'll kind of skip what I learned. You look at the uh, comic session of this. Some people are agreeing with me, say, thank you, Christian Entertainment. Does it have to be bad? We can put quality art that points to Christ. Uh, let's see. Look at a good Christian wave. And I like this one, the X Crafter. I'm currently writing a sci fi book with a Christian feel in sections. Uh, then someone is giving me recommendations. You should check out the Lamb Among the Stars series. That's Chris Wally. I believe I bought that book uh, because it's a recommendation. And uh, Star Wars, not just because of time, it's so great. Uh, Natural, so there are, uh, and there's another one said that he's writing not a sci fi novel. Uh, so, what I've learned, I think I like I touched on this before, is there is content out there, and I'm going to show some content that I found. Uh, but I, if you're looking for it, you don't know where to look, or it's not being presented to you uh, easily. Now, in the time that I made this video, I would say that I, I'm going to show two examples. One, uh, I'm going to show you a upcoming sci-fi film uh, called The Shift. Now, I actually reacted to this is 20 or 30 minute short film, and it got picked up by Angel Studios. Angel Studios, if you don't know, that is uh, Studios that is bringing you the chosen and is really popular now and is uh, 
kind of, you know, I kind of believe in their mission statement. And um, I'm, I reacted to the trailer before. And one of the reasons I'm making this video that I'm currently making is so when I bring things like to the channel and people are looking for it, I may not have advertised that, hey, this is a Christian film or a film that's made by Christians or has the uh, belief system of Christians. Because a lot of people, you could be one that wants a Christian film, like put the gospel center message in it. Or you could be just one that you just don't mind it, but you're not even looking for a Christian message. You're just looking for something that's not anti-Christian. So I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm not going to do this. Play if I can do that. The fifth trailer. So this is the original film. And I'll play this little trailer. Came out five months ago. It's a test. For every choice you make, there are countless other realities where you make different choices. Imagine the power to move one person from one reality to the next. You can do that? Just say the word. Not to spoil it, but... We have a character. Uh, you have to watch the original short film that's about 20 ish minutes long. And he's going, I believe he's going to be going in different realities. I know realities, realities, but technically, this was done years ago, maybe seven years ago. So everybody was multi uh, universe out. Let's play through. When are you finally going to wake up and realize he doesn't take care of his own? What do you know about me? You're a fiend, a crook, a liar. Your goal? Misery. What? Is that one? Let me see if I again. You can see my original reaction to the trailer um, on the channel. Hi, me from the future. So I was editing this video, and I realized that from that point on there is no sound coming from me uh, i got up and came back and for some reason the uh my laptop stopped picking up the mic from my headphones and yeah so the rest of that uh reaction was a bust uh so i'll do like a little short version here it's what i was going to show you or what i did show but then you know stuff happened uh I was going to show you a new series, or that's maybe new to you, I've shown on channel, was uh, this Dominion series. Now, it is a comic book still. Uh, well, cause I, I believe this could be something more later on. Uh, so, what I initially did was, I talked about, uh, that I consider that also a Christian sci-fi. And it is a allegory. If you are familiar with the story of King Saul... Our same King Saul, who was replaced by King later on by King David, it is that story uh, in animated form that is 
happening in space. It's really good. I showed the trailer. I'm gonna show the trailer now, and then I'll be back. So, five, four, three, two, one. Are defeated. I have carried out the commands of the Almighty. Enough! This tribute better than obedience? Because you have rejected his command. He has rejected you! Wait! The Almighty has torn the dominion from you today. Samuel! And has given you to one who is better than you. A man after his own heart. Samuel! We cannot stand by while our people are under attack. I will not be dictated to by a child. I could save the kingdom, mother. Would you have me do nothing? Do not stir up your father's rage. You will tear this family apart. The Philistines are coming. Open your eyes, Jonathan. Our father is not the just king you wish him to be. You have duties to this family. To your people. I saw a young warrior. Who did you see? The spirit of the Almighty was with him. I will not lose my throne. Dominion is mine. I am king. I am Saul. And that'll do it for today. I'm sorry for all the, you know, the, the quality. I, I know, like, my videos lately uh, more consistent, but less on the quality side. And th that's done just for scheduling. Uh, I'll make community posts about this. Uh, but I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I'm trying to see, was there anything that I wanted to say more? Um, just tell me what you guys think about this subject in the comments below. Uh, if you like this kind of content, I know that it seems like I'm all over the place with videos such as this one. And then, uh, I think I'm going to do another nerd related one later. Although this is still nerd related, you know, just because I share my faith and it's kind of combination with, you know, my nerd activities still good, still good. So if this doesn't bug you so much, consider subscribing to your scribe. Uh, thank you and God bless. Is it too good to be true? I want this so much, but don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast, trying to find the red flags I'm used to. Green lights, are they coming too soon? Cut between red and the green